We're perfectly fine on that one, Lucky. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Scythes and Tingrob back again for another Cube World 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 World. Let's play this game together. Journey to the North Block. The Frozen Tundra. Frozen Ass World. Uptown World. We've been living in a frozen time of world. Yes! So, what happened since the last episode? Because I'm actually recording this episode the same day that I recorded the last episode because I'm low on footage for Cube World. Is I pretty much, we, we were over here at the end of the last episode. I went all the way, to, way back there. Very far back. And then came, boo, ping ponged right back to here to look for some more gear. Because this is a plus three dungeon, meaning the enemies in it are plus three and drop good loot. And we didn't really find anything. There's one thing I did find. I found another one of these. We, we've already found those in the last episode. This is actually a duplicate of another item that we already have. And more importantly, this. A yellow formula. Boop! So we can actually craft a yellow wand. Although I don't think it's going to top anything that we've got right now. Especially because right now, we're actually using these rings. Yeah. Yeah. Ha ha! Go get him, Lucky! Ooh, we accidentally hit something. Okay, cool. Yeah! This would be pretty cool and cinematic if it could actually look cool and cinematic. But, yeah. So, these things are godlike. They are just absolutely awesome. They're not necessarily as strong as our last wand, but the amount of sheer speed that they give just really changes up the gameplay, and I love it. The next step would be if we could actually turn ourselves to a water mage because... <coughs> A water mage's special ability, rather than this, the fire mage is what we've been since day one. Your attacks have a chance to make your next special attack a free instant cast. Which is still great, don't get me wrong. It's awesome, because that's more times that we get to use that insta cast, which is this right click ability, and that has a chance of knocking down our enemies. It's actually really, really useful. But, strike a pose. Damn, I was gonna get a screenshot. But the water one is your attack speed is increased with each hit. Now, I don't pay too much attention to it, but when we're in combat, there's actually a combo meter, and we get that thing pretty high when we get into battle. So I really wanted to try experimenting with being a water mage and see if we just start, you know, maybe we'll just become a chainsaw of damage and death. You know, especially on top of these bracelets, because look how fast they are. You know, all I do is just right click till these enemies are knocked down, and then we just spam the crap out of them. So we might not even need our fire ability. However, uh, last few times I've checked in town to be able to reset ourselves and respec ourselves to being a water mage it hasn't worked out too well. I don't know why, but for some reason it's like it doesn't work. Like, we go to the Mage Guild dude, and normally he charges us a fee to reset our skills, which we've got, like, infinite money anyway, so it should be no problem. But, yeah, he, he hasn't been... He hasn't been giving it to us lately. I don't know why. So, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research, I think, next time we get into a town, and I actually have time, because right now I'm kind of really pressed on time. We're gonna go over here, maybe we'll do a couple area dungeons and stuff. Kind of being a little bit lazy today, I know we could be going to an next biome, but I like the ice biome, they're pretty cool. Plus the music's cool enough, don't you think? I wrote it myself. It, it's pretty cool. I know the weakest song that I actually have is the jungle biome, which... Well, <laughs> the last jungle biome was the first jungle biome that we've ever found. Maybe it'll be the last, because the jungle, for some reason in my world here, seems to be incredibly hard to find. Which is fine by me, I don't mind at all. It was, it was awesome, it was an adventure, it was a mini goal to find the jungle biome, and now we've got a couple other mini goals. Pull out the glider, thank you, I did that like 10 minutes ago. Because we're actually level 80. And we only seem to be increasing in our level faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Once we... Now, here's the thing. Let me explain here. Because I don't explain this often enough and for anyone that's just tuning in. Now, as far as this game goes, Cube World, we can get to level 100 at... Ooh, whoops. There it is. Our power level is 80. 
You can't really make it out because the text is terrible in this game and not to mention my videos would have to be very HD in order to read it. Like it's already hard enough for me to read. But we're power level 80 and that follows our level, right? So once we get to level 100, we're going to be power level 100. But here's the thing. Here's the kicker. She's bigger than me. Here, here's the kicker is that we can actually get our level over 100, but our power level will stop at 100. Does that make sense? It's like, think about Diablo. It's like item levels. Item levels can only go up to level 100. So can enemies. Enemies can only go up to level 100. So once we get to power level 100, we're actually not going to be increasing any more of our base attributes and stats and stuff like this, besides finding really good gear and junk. Like, you know, it's not like when we level up, we're not going to end up getting more health or anything that's going to be completely based on our armor. However, what is potentially infinite is these stats, all these beautiful things. And actually in the wiki, you can see the stats, I think riding, you get up to, what is it? I think 50 or something like that. There is a certain interval when, excuse me, let me readjust my seating here. There's a certain interval when these abilities become null and investing attributes into them doesn't actually up it or make it any stronger. Or at least it's such a minuscule change that it's not really worth it. It's kind of like how even right now, like, uh, you know, right here on our, ooh, yeah, it's already legit on our mana shield. Wow! Surprise attack! Get out of here! You think you can sneak up on me? Don't worry, we have ultimate power as a mage. Damn fools! Whoa, oh, that's the one way to get the heart racing. Now, anyway, let me say right here. Let me say right here. Cool, uh, just for example, our mana shield, the cooldown is 12.78. And in the next level, it only goes down to 12.7. So we only get rid of the point, point 0.8 for the actual Aethers before we can cast it again. I didn't know that the ability started going that slow. Let's actually get this to 30 right now. It didn't even go down a whole second as far as our Aethers go before we could cast it again. That's actually... Whoa... Even this barely increases. However, the knockback does... Oops, I tapped the mic there. However, the knockback does go up by, like, more than 1%. So that's nice, but the Aethers on it is not. Oh, okay. So this, uh, the, the ada amount of damage that we can absorb goes up, but the chance to cast it doesn't so much. Wow, that's not even worth it. Okay. Well, anyway, let's just... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's, let's try and get, you know what, the soft goal right now, let's get our mana shield to level 40, it's at level 39 right now, because by then we should be able to absorb 80% damage, and then honestly, I don't know what we're going to spend our abilities on, I don't know, but apparently those skills are infinite, blah, 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 blah. apparently those skills are infinite anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And, yeah, sorry I took a little bit long to explain that, longer than I needed to, that's for sure, for sure, but, well, hey, I'm kind of all over the place tonight, and I'm kind of out of it. Yes! I really need to eat, actually. I think I've only eaten once today, and not that much. So my energy is kind of, <sighs> I'm sad. Oh, this is a dungeon right here, we almost passed it. Okay, cool. So hopefully this is going to be something good. Hopefully, I hope, I really want to switch to a water mage. I hope we actually can figure out how to do that. Is this the entrance? No. No, it isn't. Okay, it isn't. There's actually two castles. That's weird. Never ran into that before, have we? Ooh. <gasps> you know what I want to do? I want to climb it just because we can. <laughs> Ever seen someone climb up a steep, flat wall? Now you have. Except he's not really a person, he's kind of like a cube person, but... <laughs> yes! Victory is ours, and we actually can't get any higher than we are now. <laughs> cool! We're climbing this thing like a pro! Like a pro-a-pro. -a -pro. Appropriation! I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, that was close. Frame rate's going to crap, though. Better get out of here while we can. <gasps> Oh no, damn it! 
Ow! I wanted to grab that edge, but the frame rate really screwed with me there. Oh, God. Okay, where's the entrance to this stupid place? I swear, I got a feeling. I got a feeling that it's on this side over here. Because the boss is actually right under us, says the map. He is that skull. I don't know if you can make him out. Is that the entrance? No, nope, that ain't the entrance. Is the entrance over here? It better be. Where's this picture? Where? Where Ent? Meet at Castle Ent. Where is this place? Da 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 da. Uh, oh, now we're all talking in Lucky Charms voice because we've got Lucky. He's our Lucky Charm, and oh, there's the entrance. Oh, cha 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 cha. Yeah. Well, they're blue enemies at least, so we're gonna be getting some decent experience. Maybe get a couple levels. Die! Death to all our enemies! Whoops! Hey, what do you think you're doing to my lucky over there, you stupid mage? So you want to have a mage duel, eh? Man. I wonder if we're going to run into some decent equipment. I doubt it, though. I'm actually surprised we ran into these rings being as powerful as they are. Ting! Ting! That's our sound effects because we're not getting hurt! What was that yellow? Oh. I see. It always tricks me because it's like when you're picking something off the ground, it shows you a comparison to... Oh. Shows you a comparison to the item that you have currently equipped. And one of the items that we have currently equipped, a couple of them are yellows. So it tricks me all the time. Nom, 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 Yeah, I used a couple of our bombs because I ended up finding like a cave. Ah, backflip! Red ingredients? Nope. Damn. Ingredients for crafting, you can find all over the place, but the red ingredients, so I've heard on the wiki anyway, you can find within dungeon chests and only dungeon chests. However, I have not seen anything, not even a low level of it, which, that's kind of the goal. We got quite a few goals right now, we got quite a few achievements to go for. One of them is it! One of the achievables right now is getting to level 100. I guess the next one would be getting our pet to level 100, just for kicks. Also, I want two yellow rings. Right now, we're rocking just a purple and a blue for our rings. That's our hand items, our attack items. Not, not like, uh, I don't mean ring rings. I mean these. These. Extraordinary gold bracelet. Okay, that's what they're called. Oh, wait a minute. Extraordinary. Exceptional. Oh, they're only two blues. Okay, we gotta find ourselves a purple one. That means we would be even more powerful. Holy cow. That, and then we gotta find, ooh. We got quite a few goals then. I would love to have a yellow ring though and see how pow- Get out of here! Damn choncho. See how powerful it would actually be. I also wanna switch this over to a water mage and see if that actually makes any difference at all. Take that, stupid. Come on, what you got? Blam! It's like a meteor strike. Ha! Get him, Lucky. They almost got to us. Oh, no. Uh -huh. I like how I'm taunting them, even though it's like, you know, totally unfair. Magic spells. Magic spells. I am so glad that we picked a mage as our main class, though. Because the other classes are not as good. That's for sure. The rogue is still pretty epic. But too many people at the time that I started this series, too many people were being the rogue. So I figured, why not be something unique? Because nobody plays as a mage, from what I can tell. There's very few channels that actually play as the mage. Especially playing this game as far as we've played it. Ow! Backflip! Take that, stupid mages. Sulfur bracelet. Which is not what we need, we need a gold one! And by gold, I mean like a legendary one. Get out of here! Pretty soon, yeah, you know what? Pretty soon, I'm just gonna take the rest of this dungeon on off camera. Get away from me, Shaunch. I'm going after your orc brother. Yeah! Wow, this place is tricky dicky. But yeah, I'm gonna take care of the rest of this place off camera. Actually, you know what? We can just do that right now. I'm gonna take care of this place off camera. We're gonna have a quick commercial break. And I'll clue you all in whether or not we find some good equipment and we've leveled it up and stuff like that, which we're actually about to level. So I'll see you all right after this. Welcome back, everybody. 
So I cleared out the dungeon. Didn't find any good loot. Not not really anything worthwhile, I don't think. Where was our... Oh, we were after this dude. Actually, I haven't even checked any of our loot. But we didn't seem to have anything. No, 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 no. It's all crap. It's all crap. It's all crap. However, we leveled up. I'm surprised how fast we've been leveling lately. It seems like only the only the last episode we were at, what, level 77? We're at level 82 now? I think that's what we were at. But I actually had a very epic boss fight in there where I would never have been able to fight that boss and win while commentating because it took 100% concentration, 50% luck, and 20% skill. <laughs> that's a Fort Minor reference. Because I had to craft potions in the middle of fighting him. And it really sucked. It was really terrible. Where, where should we go? Should we go to this one or that one? Left or right? Let's go left. Let's go over here. Finish up this dungeon. Maybe call it an episode. And then and then we're probably going to start journeying to the Northland to try and get out of the frost bomb just to change things up. So that we don't keep repeating ourselves and, you know, you don't get tired of the music or anything like that. Because, you know, as much as now we're going to be repeating any areas we've already been in, because we've already been in every biome in the game. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Water went down the wrong tube there. But, as much as that, I'm still trying my best to make this series as interesting as it can. That's not saying much, though, because there's not much to this game, is there? So, you know what's weird? How come our snout beetle is so far behind? Is that seriously because we, like, unequipped him for, like, two seconds? I wonder if there's ever going to be a pet that's going to top Lucky. I very much doubt it, though, because he's the only... For those that do not know, Lucky, our snout beetle pet, is actually one of the coolest pets we've ever ran into because he's got long range, he's got charge attacks, he... He's crazy, man. He's crazy. There's no other pet like it. Every other pet you run into is just a melee character. They run up and punch everything, get the attention on them, and then they die. And they don't help us at all, especially being a mage, you know? Because right now, it's really good having him next to us because he does actually considerable damage. And if we ever need him to tank for us, which he doesn't really do very well, we just go, ha ha, go behind him, and then the enemy is, starts attacking him. Because they're trying to attack us, if that makes sense. I want some golden bracelets. Get out! You elves have my bracelets? Nope, they just got copper and silver, which is crap and crap. It's really weird how you don't actually spend much money in this game for pretty much anything. That's another one of our mini goals, by the way, is trying to get... I should really write these down. Is trying to get our hands on a yellow lamp. Because right now our lamp, the higher the rarity of the lamp, the bigger the light source. Kind of like, kind of like the rings of light in Diablo 1 that would increase your draw distance. I think they had them in Diablo 2. They kind of took all that out in Diablo 3 though, didn't they? Yeah. Diablo 3 was a great game. Don't get me wrong. And I'm going to do a let's play of it with my brother Johnny Captain Napkin. But it's no, di it's it's definitely not the same feel as any of the other Diablo games. It feels like a whole other beast in itself. It's fantastic, but it's not Diablo one or two. Anyways, do not talk about other games while we're playing this game. Hello, you stupid ugly ogre. Oh look, he slipped. Well, that cost him in life. He's got he's got to press R to respawn. Hello. Wow, we're right here, aren't we? What is this dungeon? Why won't it show up on the map? What is it? Huh? Wow! What the hell? Damn sneak attacking bull! Get out of town! That's right. Man, we do like 600 damage on that dude. Come here. Oh, we can jump and attack. I never knew that until now. It's, it's very difficult to do. Because then we're bobbing up and down as opposed to just strafing left and right. <laughs> I gotta get a screenshot of this dude. Holy crap. Holy crap. That's just... Look at that thing. Look this way, please. Look this way, please, Hank. Or whatever that thing was called in... Uh, what was it? Ice Age? Get out! 
You know what we're gonna do? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got the camera angle right here. I said, Pizzell! Come at me, bro! Can't, uh, well, I'm gonna have to figure out something with the camera. Or blah, 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 blah. Either way, this thing's going down. I like how he's stuck. You know what? We're gonna fight him in first person. Because I can barely see him. This guy is easy. This is the easiest boss we've ever fought in the game. Die, you stupid mammoth! Nobody likes you! Wow, look at this guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's got a lot of health. He's got a lot more health than I thought he did. He's only... Well, I guess he's got a lot less than I thought he did. Too oh, oh, God. He's at half health already. Lower than half. He's making big noises. Oh. Well, that was very easy, but holy crap, this guy... That guy was scary. Whoa, God. Well, we're certainly running into some pretty epic stuff these last few episodes, haven't we? We already found the Yeti. We started using these rings for our magic, which is just phenomenal. And now we found a mammoth. A freaking mammoth, man. A walking dungeon. Yeah, look at that. He was the quest. So next is this, which actually would work out perfect. We're heading towards here. Because then I can head towards town off camera to reset the day-night schedule for the next time that I actually find time to record some more Cube World. That was, that was cool, man. That thing was a beast, and its roar was scary. I know that they can, <gasps> ooh, blue leftovers randomly. Okay, thank you very much, world, for providing that service to us. I wish we could actually get some crazy gear that's like, Oh my god, this is the craziest gear we've ever seen in our entire lives. Like we used to. We only did- I think we only found that once when we started finding our first yellow gear. You know what would be a really- it would be really great, except it's much too far away now, is if we would actually head backwards to- haha, to some of the dungeons that were actually plus four and stuff. Not to mention we actually ran into- you know what? Screw you, Polar Null! We actually ran into some, like, when we were doing our ocean biomes, because holy crap have we run into a lot of ocean biomes. But we've actually ran into islands that have been chock full. And I mean bring the frame rate down to ten full of enemies that were level plus four. Or level plus, th that were just plus four. So it was just, you know, it was much too powerful. The enemies were way too powerful for us. Plus we were kind of pushing, going to the Northland and stuff like that. I didn't really know at the time that they were that good for both experience and drops. So yeah, you know, I really hope that we're going to end up running into another plus four area that is actually going to have enemies that are around our level. Because we found that plus three area in the frost biome over here, but they are white level enemies, so they are very low. And they drop items that are just power level 50 instead of our level, which we can run into power level 80. Have we leveled up? Yes, we have. Boop, boop. Yes! Alright, we got it to 80%. Cool, cool, cool. Now, what do we do? What abilities should we go for? Swimming is useless. Climbing is cool, but we don't need it to be any higher. Hang gliding's good. Hmm. I think we should get our boating up. And, hmm, should we get our boating up? Yeah, I think we should get boating up to level 20, which it needs one more. It's at level 19. Just so that when we do run into an ocean biome and I'm doing stuff off camera, at least I can get around, you know? Because that's, that's the real thing. I actually don't know if we're... Ooh. This is a gigantic island. Look at this. Look at this mountain. Good God. So many places that are just challenging the camera to the real test. And it just doesn't work, does it? <laughs> but yeah, I don't think we're going to actually make it to this next dungeon within this episode, everybody. I'm probably I'm probably just going to go for it and just say screw it. Ooh. Maybe we can glide our way to victory. Ha ha. Let's try it out. And see whether or not it works. And then, oh goodness. I, I, I'm kind of dragging this out. I would just make a cut to the dungeon. But I'm actually exhausted from playing Cube World. 
So, uh, I'm, uh, please forgive me for being a little bit cheap and, you know, my energy being a lot lower and stuff. I'm actually really, really tired right now. I recorded two Cube Worlds in a row, which this is definitely, don't get me wrong, I love it. I do. But it's definitely the most exhausting of all of my series just because of the amount of concentration that it takes. N not because of the gameplay being difficult. Ugh! Push him off! Ugh! Oh, I wanted to push him off. Oh, raspberries. But it's just because of the amount of concentration that it takes for my commentating. Because, you know, I try not to repeat myself too, too much. Although I do, I know I do. Guilty as charged with that. Wow! But, but I also, you know, what are we going to commentate about? Oh, hey, we're going to another dungeon today. We're going to be walking in this direction. And, uh, we're going to get more platinum that we can't use for anything. Actually, this is going to end up working out perfectly because when I go to town off camera, then next time I record, before I start recording an episode, I'm going to read up about switching our skill tree to a water mage. Because I want to see how fast we can get with our spells. Goodness gracious world, please load. Please? You're scaring me. Come on. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. It looks like it's in our dungeon. So we'll get to at least start the dungeon. Even if the episode is going to end before we actually get to finish it. But that's fine. Because then I'll get to finish it off camera. Ooh. Look at the mini map. This quote unquote dungeon. It's just another big monster. He's fighting stuff too. Is it a Yeti? Is it just going to be another Yeti? This wolf is going to defeat the Cyclops. Oh, he looks the exact same as the Yeti. That sucks. Damn. Look at him though. He's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh! He's actually destroying the world too? Well, you know what? This is gonna end up being perfect. This is a great finale for the episode. Look at his punches shaping the whole world. Oh, he's not actually destroying the world because he can't. Can he destroy a tree? What happens if we hide under it? Oh, he just deactivated. Oh, he is destroying stuff. Look at the ground there. You're going down, you stupid Cyclops. Wow, he's punching us into the earth. He destroyed a tree. I didn't know you could destroy a tree. Holy crap on a cracker. Look at that. That was a very epic battle. Very epic indeed. As epic as Cube World's going to get, I'd say that much. Wow. Even if we didn't die or take much damage, but holy cow, that guy was awesome. You know what? We still got a couple minutes for today's episode, but we're actually going to call it here. I am just exhausted. I can't handle this anymore right now, so I'm sorry about that, everybody, but we're going to call it a couple minutes early. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I hope you've been enjoying this series. These last few episodes have been a real hoot. Hoot and a holler. They've been a real climax. Please be sure to like the video. I really would appreciate it, and it helps me out more than you know. And if you want to see more in this series or any of my other videos, be sure to subscribe. Sign on and stay epic, everybody.